and we are back welcome back everybody welcome to episode 51 of the school wait is it episode yeah it's episode 51 of my podcast um i'm so sorry for missing last week i've just been a little i guess overwhelmed uh with all this work and whatever but we're back Stronger than ever before. A lot has happened, as always. Um, we hit 6 million on TikTok, actually, just yesterday. Like, I I did not expect to hit 6 million this soon. Um, so when I woke up and saw, I, I was like, we were at 6 million. Um, that was a, a big surprise. So thank you so much to everybody who is following me. Thank you to everybody who likes my videos, who watches them, um, who, who bears with my sussiness um because i am a sussy baka um but yeah thank you so much it really means so much um i've always just wanted to make videos to make people smile the fact that i get to make videos for six million people now is insane um it's hard to comprehend what that actually means like if i was to imagine six million people actually like sitting there and like watching me do something that would be extremely overwhelming. Um, but thank you so much. It, it really means a lot. Um, also, we are closing in on 500k on Instagram, which is also crazy. Uh, Instagram, like I, I never really understood Instagram that much. Um, I, I never used Instagram before. Um, I've just started using Instagram more and more. Like after, like honestly, since... January I think that's when I really started using Instagram more and more and um yeah it's crazy it's it's crazy that so many people are following me I try my best to come up with like new stuff to like shoot pictures for you um so thank you so much for that as well also if you're wondering what I'm wearing right now um wait let me let me stand up for a second here you go this is actually part of my merchandise collection um if you want to check out this swaggy and drippy merch it's all available on itskingchris.com. Um, we have like hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, um, in like all different colors. Um, I'm wearing the uh, Land of Drip hoodie in pink, uh, in L at the moment. Um, but we have so much more. Um, and we ship internationally to everybody wondering. Uh, so go and check it out if you like it. Um, there's a link down in the description below. It's on itskingchris.com. That is my website. Um, all right, let's move on. So uh, for everybody who doesn't know, we like on my Instagram channel, I have this thing, uh, this thing. It's a, um, it's a tournament. We do like a new tournament every, every month. This month, we are deciding on who is the best anime waifu the hottest anime waifu because I feel like that is a question that just has to be answered once and for all and who who better to judge over the best anime waifu than the swag nation I feel like we have such a strong community we have built such a strong following that nobody else is really capable of you know coming up with the best anime waifu besides us um and let me actually, so we have like 32 anime waifus that are competing against each other. Um, some of the anime waifus were like Boa Hancock, uh, Tsunade, um, Nami, of course, Hinata, uh, Zero Two. Um, the next two matches that are on my Instagram stories, as you're watching this right now, are going to be Elizabeth Linus and Miriam Strauss. And uh, that's one match. And the other match is going to be Leafa versus Sakura. So hop over to my Instagram stories. Vote for your anime waifu. And let's get this tournament rolling. Um, all right. So for today's episode, because I wanted to do this more regularly, we're going to do a Q&A where you can ask me whatever questions you want. And I'm going to pick a few. Obviously, I cannot answer every question you ask me, but I try my best and I always try to like pick other people so everybody gets to ask me a question because it's just gotten a little hard for me to like reply to all kinds of DMs or all comments. Um, they all mean everything to me and I really try my best to get to everybody, but it just gets hard at times. Um, so I want to do more and more Q&As to give you a chance to actually like talk to me and ask me a question. Uh, the first question comes in from Merck. 
Merck, who actually does the outro song right here, he's like a really talented rapper. So go and check him out. There's a link to all his socials in the description as well. Um, and his question is, would you rather know if there's aliens in space or sea monsters underwater? Honestly, um, I feel like, you know, I, I don't know if anybody has heard about this, um, but the Pentagon in the United States has actually released some information about all this UFO footage that has been like swirling around the internet. And they actually confirmed, not necessarily that the footage, they have confirmed that the footage is real. And they have also confirmed that they do not know what kind of aircrafts are displayed on the footage. And the footage, like the video footage is super grainy and really, you know, hard to identify. But that's because they're re being recorded by like jets or um, uh, what was the other thing? Like ships with like ultra high speed cameras. Um, so, so they're not really able to like capture them like in detail. But what you can see is that these weird little aircrafts and they're really small also. Like these little aircrafts just move around without acceleration or deceleration. They just they're just here and one like up there in one moment and then they drop down like hundreds of feet in like a few seconds and then they pop back up. So it's really, really strange. And the Pentagon has actually confirmed that they do not know what those are. So the footage is actually real. It's not fake and they do not know what is on there. So I guess, I mean, it could still be anything um, that does not necessarily mean that these are like alien aircrafts. I, I you know, honestly, I don't know. Um, but it seems like there is some stuff out there in space that we just, you now obviously we don't know. But, you know, it seems like we have been, we have had visits from like aliens before which is crazy to think about. I don't know, like there, there, there was, so, it, was, it has been covered all over the news. So if everybody has heard about this too, like leave a comment and let me know. Um, but that is insane to me. So I'm, I'm like really curious about what else is going to happen. But what would be crazy is that during my lifetime, if we actually get to like see an alien, if we, like I, I, not, not necessarily meet an alien, but like see one. And the fact that we apparently have been visited by aliens before also means that, you know, these aliens, um, they don't necessarily see us as a threat. Like, otherwise, they would have probably attacked us by now. Um, they're probably just curious. I don't know. It's so crazy, right? I, I don't know not enough about it to, to talk about it, but um, I, like to answer your question, I feel like we already know that there are aliens. So I'm going to pick I'm going to pick that one because that's super interesting. Um, and about sea monsters, there's definitely stuff under sea that has not been discovered yet. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm more interested in what is out there and like in space rather than underwater. I don't know. That's just me. Um, the next question is from Shan Bag. Uh, what changes has anime brought to your life? Oh my, so much. Um, anime has kind of become my life by now. Um, but you know, before I used to make videos on TikTok that were all anime related. Um, you know, I, I started watching anime. I started watching Naruto and One Piece when I was. Uh, like like nine or ten years old and it has really you know um especially naruto growing up i i didn't have i had trouble like fitting in i had trouble <clears throat> i had trouble finding friends because i had to move cities and it was always really tough for me um so like seeing naruto as the main character going through the same struggles it just gave me I don't know. It just made me feel better. It, it made me feel better to know that there was somebody else out there, even fictional, that was going through the same struggles and um, that he was not willing to back down. He was still confident in who he was and he was not going to give up on his dream. 
And that really inspired me a lot. And it has carried me through my childhood to my through my teenage years. And obviously now that um, that I'm doing mainly anime inspired videos on TikTok, it has really turned into my life. Anime has. Yeah, it's, it's just a part of my life now, which is amazing. It's everything I could ever wish for. I love anime. I'm really thankful for everything it has done for me. Um, it's just great. It's also really great to see that anime is getting more and more recognition, especially like in mainstream. Um, it's, you know, liking anime and watching anime is not, you know, it's not nerdy anymore. It used to be really weird if you were into anime and you were always kind of hiding it. But now it's not like, I feel like everybody watches anime. Like it's just something we do and we love it. And anime has evolved so much. Um, You know, it has really evolved from just being like the big three into so many different ones that are truly amazing. Like just look at the top grossing TV shows. It's like, um, there's, there's so many anime up there. I mean, obviously Attack on Titan is way up there. There's uh, My Hero Academia. There's um, obviously still Boruto is still going One Piece. Um, there's so many different ones. Um, Demon Slayer, Tokyo Ghoul. Jeez, it, ju- it just goes on and on. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool to see how much it has evolved. Um, the next question is from Hasa. Oh, jeez. Hasa Mal Tatari. Uh, why are you such a sussy buck? <laughs> Why am I such a sussy buck? I don't know, dude. I do not know. I don't know. I just am. I'm definitely a baka. I've I've been a baka my entire life. Um and you know, I don't I don't mind being sussy. It's like yeah, people are I feel like people used to be way too stuck up about like coming off as like you know, straight and like being afraid to like look gay. I don't care. Like I'm, I'm not gay, but I don't care. It's all, it's all just comedy. Um, it's all just fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm seeing lots of other people having lots of fun with it. So, um, I don't know. I, I guess I've always been a sussy baka. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, the next question is from Bruno, Bruno Soverio. How long is your sword? My sword is four in. Oh, so like I have. Um, I have four different swords. I have like, I have uh, three of Zoro's katanas, and I have the um, Kikoku from Trafalgar Law. These are all One Piece swords. I'm actually looking into getting more. I'm actually looking into like, like getting Sasuke's sword, uh, Sasuke's katana, and I'm also looking into getting some Demon Slayer katanas because they have some awesome ones. Um, but my longest sword is this one right here and it's um it's like 100 and like 160 centimeters ish yeah it's it's pretty long actually um i think in the anime it's even longer i think in the anime it's around like it's almost long like taller than law is um yeah, I don't know, but this one, like this replica, is 160 centimeters. The other ones from Zoro, like the Wado Ichimonji and the um, the Shusui, uh, they are, uh, I think they're like 100, 120 centimeters, so a little like a me- over a meter, um, which is like normal katana length. I think like most katanas are that length. This is just super long. Um, the next question is from Degenerate Kun. Uh, what's your height and age? Um, so my height is, I don't know, I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know in inches and feet. I just know that I am, actually, I, uh, I think I'm like a hundred and, a hundred and eighty five centimeters. I think that's what it says on my passport. I've not measured myself in forever, but I think that's what I am. Um, and I have no idea what that's in feet. You you can go and calculate and let me know. I think it's like it's like six feet ish. Um, but Google it and, and let me know because I'm not sure. But I am 185 centimeters. That I know 
for sure. Uh, oh, in my age, uh, I'm 26 years old. I'm actually turning 27 on May 3rd. So next. Oh my God, it's pretty soon, is it not? Is it on Monday? It might be on Monday or on Sunday. I don't know. But yeah, I'm turning 27 very soon. Um, but I'm 26 still. Uh, the next question is from Jackson. Jackson Rader. What do you do for a living? Uh, this right here. Um, so I used to I used to work different jobs before I um, you know my I decided to do TikTok and my other platforms um, full time. Uh, but before that, I used to do you know different editing jobs. Um, my last job was a a full time job where I was doing video marketing for a company here in Germany. Um, but you know, right now I have, I have been able to transition to this, like doing this full time, which is amazing. Um, this is what I've always wanted to do. It's not less work. It's actually much more work, but I'm really passionate about it. I feel like that's what I've always wanted to do. And I'm willing to like stay up until, you know, one, two AM to edit for you just because it's so much fun to me. Um, so I feel really fortunate to be able to do this. And I'm constantly trying to improve. The next question is from Nathan. Why are you so damn cute? <laughs> you know, no matter how cute you think I am, I'm not as cute as you are, Nathan. Uh, the next question is from Seth Robert. Uh, do you have a scar on your lip yet from biting it so much? Actually, no, I don't. But like during the height of like doing all these swag and sus videos, which was probably around like three weeks ago ish or like a month ago, I was biting my lips so much. And um, that was when it was still kind of cold here in Germany. So my lip actually like it genuinely hurt because I'm obviously not going to be able to you know, when I film, I'm not going to be able to like do everything in one take. So I had to bite my lips several times per take per video. And I was like doing three videos a day. Um, so I was biting my lip a lot. And actually, when you watch my videos closely, like from a month ago, when I was doing all these swag videos, um, if you look on my lip, you can actually see like teeth marks on my lip because I was biting it just like a few seconds before. Um, so I was biting it a lot, but no, I, I do not have a scar yet. Um, the next question is from Muhammad. Uh, where did you get your, where did you get Zoro's swords from? Zoro's swords from, geez, that's like a, a tongue twister. Um, I get all my katanas, including this one from otakuninjaheroes.com. Um, and I live in Germany and I believe they are based in like Belgium or the Netherlands. I'm not entirely sure, but they are EU based. So if you're listening to this from like America or uh, like a different continent, I'm not sure how shipping works to your country. Um, but that is where I get mine from. It's from otakuninjaheroes.com. Um, and they have so many other swords. They have like, I think they do like katanas and like movie props in general. Um, so they have all kinds of swords from One Piece. Um, they have swords from Naruto, uh, Demon Slayer. Um, what else do they have? Um, they have they have swords from like different movies. So like Kill Bill, for example. Um, they even have like ma magic wands from Harry Potter. Um, and they have like different prop props as well. Like not just swords, but like like guns and weapons. Um, they even have like the they have like Thor's Infinity Gauntlet, uh, which is like two hundred and eighty bucks. I think I, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna buy it, but they have that as well. Um, so it's a really cool website. Go and check them out. OtakuNinjaHeroes.com. Um, the next question is from YF. Are you enjoying making these clips? Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, I really am. Uh, you know, I've I've always. I've been editing videos since I was 15. Um, and back then I was just making videos for my friends just because just because I wanted to make them smile. And it was always amazing to me to like have an idea in my head and then be able to like 
turn into turn it into reality. That was always fascinating to me, and it's something I've always wanted to do. So after I graduated from high school, I went into、um, studying film because I just wanted to follow that passion. And you know that passion has really carried me until where I am right now.、Um, and you know it's not always easy,、um, especially doing this full time.、Uh, you have to come up with new ideas every single day.、Um, and sometimes I'm I'm sitting here editing until like two three a.m. and then I have to get up obviously in the morning again to like shoot and film and whatever. So it's tough.、Um, I think if、um, if your heart and your passion is not really in it, then you're not going to be able to be successful in the long term. Because you know, in the end, no matter how passionate I am about this,、um, it's work. Like regardless,、um, no matter how passionate you are about anything, it could be painting,、uh, sports,、um, music. At some point, you're gonna hit. Adversity. If you want to follow that passion, you're gonna hit like a setback. You, you, you're gonna feel stressed.、Um, you're gonna feel burnt out.、Um, you're not gonna feel very creative. And、um, you know, those are really the times where your passion is gonna carry you forward, and it's gonna show you a way. Obviously, you know, breaks are important.、Um, taking care of your mental health is very important. But your passion is really something that will. You know, it'll push you further than other people could go, just because it is so important to you. And if you are really passionate about something, you really care about the quality you put out. You really care about, you know, putting the best product out there that you can,、um, because you care so much about it. If you didn't care, if I didn't care about this so much,、um, I would not be staying up until late nights. I would just, you know. Call it a day, and then you know whatever. I'm gonna edit the video tomorrow. Who cares?、Um, but I care, so I don't. And、um, I am very strict with myself. I'm very diligent in how I approach my work and how I,、um, you know, it it might not seem that way because my videos are very silly. They are very lighthearted at times,、um, but I I do put a lot of work in there, and it all comes back to me. Just caring. I I just care, and、um, it's a lot of fun to me. Yeah, to to this day, it's a lot of fun. Um, the last question is from Khalif.、Uh, are you gay? Um, no, I'm not. Unless you are. Okay. Well, that concludes today's episode. Um, I hope everybody. Wait, what did I want to say? Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be more. Uh, I'm gonna try to be more diligent with my podcasts. Um, you know, I I want I want to be able to like put out an episode every single week. Um, so next Friday you can expect another episode. Um, it's just been it's just been a little tough for me these past weeks, I guess. Um, just because of the workload and um, yeah, it's just gotten a lot and um. Yeah, so I apologize for not being the most consistent with my episodes. You know, I remember the last episode I put out; it was also late, and then last week I was not able to put out an episode at all.、Um, so I'm gonna be more consistent.、Um, to everybody who's listening right now, I hope you had you. I hope you had a great week. I wish you a great start to the weekend. I hope you had a great Friday. Um, if you yeah,、uh, when you're listening to this, go and check out my Instagram stories. Vote for your favorite anime waifu.、Um, if you want to check out my merchandise, um, you can go to itskingchris.com. We have like all kinds of different designs, and there is actually some really exciting things coming for my merchandise. So stay tuned for that. Um, and with all that being said, um, you know you can always keep up with me on my on my TikTok, on my Instagram. I post daily. Um and yeah, you know I'm I'm just I'm just really grateful for all of you listening. Um, thank you so much for six million on TikTok again. Um, that that's just insane. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, thank you so much for listening. I wish you a great weekend. 
Um, you will see me back on Friday. Until then, stay swaggy, stay drippy, and see you then. Uh,